When I was a child, there was one person that I definitely wanted to be like when I grew up. Michael Jordan. I want to be, I want to be like Mike. <laughs> That's that old Gatorade jingle went. I loved basketball and wanted to shoot like him, jump like him, dunk like him, wear my wristband on my forearm like him, wear a calf sleeve like him. I didn't even need a calf sleeve, but I wanted one. And of course, I wanted to stick my tongue out like him. It turns out that while I could maybe look a little bit like him, I could never play like him. But a boy can dream, right? More important, though, than our childhood heroes that we long to be like, we as Christians should strive to imitate God. The Holy Spirit through Apostle Paul calls us in Ephesians 5.1 to do just that. He says, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. We should strive to be like God. That's what it means to be godly. We should do what God does and believe what God believes and love what God loves and hate what God hates. We should imitate Him in all of His ways. Why? Well, let me give you two reasons. One, because being like Him is always best. And two, because we're His beloved children and children should be like their godly parents. And I'm so thankful that our Heavenly Father is a perfect example who's so worthy to be imitated. So may you imitate Him for your good and for your joy. Change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mowdy Cabinetry.